this tutorial, we're going to use the same type of roughing operation, but instead of creating a pocket this time, we're going to create an island. We'll come back to the cam tab, we'll go to our setup, we'll move our origin, we'll select OK, and we'll go ahead and put it in tool isometric so our part lays correctly. And we can either choose to do a 2D pocket or 2D adaptive. We'll choose to do a 2D pocket. And we're going to choose this entire face. So it's a little bit misleading that it says 2D pocket. It's also going to allow us to create islands. So I can come over and choose my tool first. I can come over to my pocket selections and I'm going to choose this large face. I can come to my Heights tab, and because I chose the bottom face, everything should be set up the way that we want. I'll choose No Stock to Leave, Multiple Depths. I'm going to change my roughing to be 25% of my, or 50% of my tool, which is a quarter of an inch, and maximum step over. I do want to show you, if you're tired of going ahead and changing each one of these every time, we can see where these numbers are coming from. If I click into one of these boxes that I've been changing over the past couple, I can right click in there and I can say edit the expression. If I say edit the expression, I can actually see the formula where HSM is getting those numbers originally from. And if you calculated all this out right now, since I don't have a tool corner radius, it's actually taking 95% of the tool diameter. If you don't want to keep changing this, you can actually change the formula. So if I change that 95 to 0.5, it will give me 50% of the tool. And I can say OK. Now that I've done that, it will go ahead and calculate that out for me. I can even go ahead and say make default. Once I've made that the default, then that formula will go ahead and stay there. I can do the same thing for my maximum roughing. I can come in, I can see what the expression is, and right now you can see that that one is not a specific expression, that that's a number that you have to type in, not a formula. So that's not one that we're going to want to change as a default, where maximum step over may be something you want to change as a default. I'll come to the last tab on a regular basis. I most of the time can leave this one alone. We say OK, and it should mill out all of our part for us with that same concentric ring system that we've been using rather than the adaptive. We'll go to simulate, select play, speed up the operation, and do our comparison.